Dear woman, we stand before you today as men committed to becoming more conscious in every way. We feel deep love, great respect, and a growing sense of worship for the gifts of the feminine. We also feel deep sorrow about the destructive actions of the unconscious masculine in the past and present. We want to apologize and make amends for those actions today so that we can move forward together into a new era of co-creation. As I become more conscious, I grow more aware of the play of masculine and feminine energy in me, in you, and in all of life. I know that we all have access to the full spectrum of these energies. I also have a growing awareness of the dimension beyond all dualities, free and open like the sky. I commit to owning and stewarding a masculinity that honors and celebrates us as equals. I know that in order to truly honor you as a multidimensional woman, I must stand fully present with myself and own the gifts I have to share with you. We can create great miracles together. By nurturing each other in a conscious way. By treating each other with reverence and respect. And by worshiping the divinity expressed in the masculine and the feminine energies. As men, our relationship to the feminine has often been unconscious. I feel sorrow that women and feminine energy have for so long been subjugated and oppressed. Throughout history, men have raped and abused you, burned you at the stake, bought and sold your bodies for sexual pleasure, barred you from religious and political office, relegated you to subservient chores, force you to hide your faces and even cut off your organs of sexual pleasure. I may not have done these things myself, but I'm aware of the forces of the unconscious masculine psyche that feel threatened by and then seek to dominate the feminine. Many of the men who have oppressed and abused you are no longer alive. Among the living, many men may not be able to apologize because they remain shackled in a prison of anger, fear, and shame. On behalf of my gender, I apologize to you for our unconscious actions when we were angry scared, and in the grip of destructive forces in our psyche. I choose to no longer contribute to those forces, nor to be run by them in my own life. I offer you this apology in the hope that we can make a fresh start in the spirit of co-creation. I acknowledge that the religions of the past several thousand years have been mainly founded by and propagated by men. We've often acted as if we have the last word on God and the spiritual life. And all we have really known is a masculine expression of those things. As a result, we have suppressed more heartfelt, connective, and inclusive spiritualities. I commit now to honoring the spirituality of the Divine Feminine. I honor your deep connection to the Earth. As men, our relationship to our planet and its resources has often been motivated by competition, acquisition, and domination. We mistakenly believed that expansion would protect us from encroachment. And in the process, we violated the sanctity of the Earth and disturbed its natural rhythms. I commit to listening to the intuitive sense you have of how to heal our planet and make it thrive. I honor your intuition and your profound capacity for feeling. As men, we have often devalued feeling and intuition in favor of a view dominated by data and logic. This way of being seemed necessary to move humanity beyond animalism and superstition. But in the process, we lost much of the heart of life. I commit to respecting the arts of feeling, intuition, and the wisdom of the feminine heart so that together we can integrate them into a balanced view of life that honors and includes all wisdom. I honor the beauty and integrity of your body. When we worship each other through our bodies with awareness and devotion, there are no boundaries to the love we can generate. I feel sorrow that men have used your beauty as a form of commerce in prostitution and pornography. In the grip of lust, we have often lacked the skills to ask gracefully for intimacy or take no for an answer. I take a stand against any form of enforced or soulless commercialization of women's beauty, and I respect that your body belongs to you. 
I honor your capacity for peaceful resolution of conflicts, your ability to apologize and to forgive with grace. We men have waged endless wars over our disagreements. In the act of defending our lands and protecting our families, we become addicted to the fight itself. By contrast, it is rare to find an invasion or war instigated by women. I apologize for dragging you into these wars. And for the rape, murder, broken hearts, and damaged families that these wars have resulted in. We welcome your wisdom in creating a world that can get along without resorting to destruction. I honor your capacity to listen to your body and its needs for food, rest, and playtime. I celebrate your ability to pay attention to what is here, right now. As men, our preoccupation with goals and results has often burned us out, making us unavailable for relationship. I know we've drawn you into this imbalance as well, so often frustrating your longing to connect. The time for a process-centered way of being is now upon us. I welcome your wisdom to maintain balance in our bodies and our ways of meeting. I honor your sense of compassionate justice. In our justice system, men have dominated as judges and police, built prisons, and revered the principle of punishment. I want to welcome you to work with us in returning the heart to our justice system. I also know that global economics have been dominated by the unconscious masculine, often living in a sense of lack and greed. As a result, many people have been left poor and powerless. With your natural sense of nurturing and abundance, I know we can work together to create a truly caring global economics. In apologizing for the hurts that we have caused you. I acknowledge that I and many of my brothers have also felt hurt by our mothers, our sisters, our partners, and ex-partners. I'm willing to feel all that hurt within me and let it go. I forgive you for any ways you have acted unconsciously and I forgive myself and my gender for our own waking sleep. From this day, moving forward, I vow to treat your heart as a sacred temple it is, and I commit to honoring the feminine within you and me in my relationship to all life. I know that by forgetting about the past and joining hands in the present, we can create a genuine synergy of our strengths. Together, there's nothing we can't do. Together we can make miracles. Together, Together we, we can, can make miracles. 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 miracles.